This video is about gameplay in Warcraft Rumble. In this video, I'm going to share with you my 5 top tips to help get new players started in the game, including what to do at the start of every match, where to place your units, the best ways to combine your units, and an absolute banger tip from one of the best veteran players in the world. So let's do it. Let's learn how to play Warcraft Rumble. One of the first things you'll notice when playing through the PvE in this game is that every single boss you fight has their own unique abilities. And on top of that, some of them will be accompanied by other bosses with their own unique abilities. Therefore, my first tip is, at the start of each match while the game is still paused, go around the map and tap on each of these exclamation marks to check what each unit does. This will give you a good idea of what to expect during the match and hopefully lead to an easy victory for you. Oh, and just a note that you can do exactly the same thing with all of the other regular minis in the game by simply pausing the game and tapping on them to see what they do. Where you place your minis is actually one of the most important parts of this game. One tiny change in the position of your mini can mean the difference between total success and total failure. So make sure that when you place your minis, you think about exactly where to put them. For instance, if you're going to use this dragon to take on these murlocs, don't put it here between them so that his cone of fire only hits one at a time. Instead, put it somewhere like here so that it hits both of them. And if you're using a low health unit like the Banshee that can die in just one or two hits, make sure you put them a little out of range of your enemies so they have time to spawn and then do their attack. If you put them too close, this could happen. And speaking of low health minis, another important aspect of positioning is to place high health minis in front of low health ones. For example, if you put your rock golem here and your dragon here, your dragon will get attacked first and die, and then your rock golem will be all alone. Whereas if instead you put your rock golem in front of your dragon, your rock golem can soak up all the damage while your dragon rains down hell from above. Before we get into the next section, a huge shout out to ExpressVPN. If you've ever wanted to play games in a different region or browse the web securely, ExpressVPN is how you do it. I can tell you from experience it 100% works and honestly, the ping's actually decent too. And right now, every single MOGS viewer is going to get a huge discount of 3 months off all 12 month subscriptions, meaning it just got a whole lot cheaper for you to jump into a different region and destroy your opponents over there. How good is that? So go check out ExpressVPN via the link on screen and in the video description. So as important as positioning is, it could be argued that the combination of minis is actually even more important. The combination we just looked at, Golem and Dragon, is actually one of my go-to combos that dominates in almost every situation. It's a combination of a single target ground mini and an AoE ground and air mini. This means that the Golem can soak up and deal single target damage on the ground, and the Dragon can deal damage both on the ground and in the air with his cone AoE attack. Basically, the ideal combination of two minis would cover both the ground and the air, as well as using both single target and AoE. 
If you can get this combination right, it really doesn't matter what situation the two minis come up against, they should be able to handle it. Most of the minis in this game are restricted to being placed in these blue areas around your main base and around other towers and meeting stones. However, there's one type of mini that can be placed absolutely anywhere on the map, and they're known as Unbound Minis. These are super effective in a whole bunch of different situations, including dealing damage to hard to reach bosses, doing targeted strikes on poor old kobolds, and launching surprise attacks all over the map. However, there's two ways to use them that you absolutely must not skip. Using them to take meeting stones like this, and to take chests of gold like this. Using unbounds in this way can give you a huge advantage, allowing you to launch your massive invasion from all the way up here, and giving you access to gold that you otherwise would have to run halfway across the map to get. Just don't try to open chests with the well pegs, because uh, you might be waiting for a while. And my fifth and final tip comes from a player named Soul Reaver, who has been named as one of the world's best players, and currently has 13,000 honor in PvP. Here's a quote from him. Gold management is key in this game. In gold mines, gold usually spawns every 30 seconds, and treasure chests spawn every 45 seconds. So we have to make sure our kobold is placed on time to collect each of them. Also, try to kill the enemy kobold whenever possible. In PvP, there's a lot of tug of war to claim the mines and chests, so we use unbound units to deny kobolds and steal chests. So essentially, Soul Weaver recommends that we should prioritize gold as much as possible, making sure to take out enemy kobolds using our unbound minis, as well as timing the spawns of our own kobolds to make sure we're the first to collect gold from mines and chests. If you're not sure which unbound minis to use, Soul Reaver recommends the Safe Pilot costing 3 gold and the Quill Bore costing 2 gold. Either of these unbounds are great choices to help you win the gold war and give you the edge over your opponent. And now to finish up this video, I want to play for you a full PvE match from Soul Reaver himself, showing off his insane high level gameplay. Massive thank you to Soul Reaver for providing both the gameplay and his awesome tip for this video. If you haven't already, I highly recommend you go check out Soul Reaver's YouTube channel where he posts a whole ton of great Warcraft Rumble content. The link's on screen and in the video description. And that's it from me guys, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if not, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
to you. 